What's good, y'all? It's your boy Emmanuel, man. I hope y'all been doing good. Today, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different kind of review. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the GVM Pro SD300 by light from GVM. Now, complete transparency, they did send this light to me, but I told them, hey, if y'all finna send me a light, I'm finna take it. But I'm going to be completely honest. So, yeah, without further ado, let's just get right into it. All right, so one of the biggest things that I truly, truly appreciate about this light, and I think it's the biggest draw in terms of what this light has to offer, it's its price point. It is very rare to find a 300-watt bicolored light at $389. I mean, that value is just unbeatable, and I like what GVM has done in terms of pricing this at a very, very affordable rate. I mean, if you're somebody that's starting now and you're just wanting to get your lighting kit um, started off, you just can't beat this price. It's hard to find a 300-watt light, um, especially bicolored at this price. I think this is great for beginners and great for people that are just wanting to get serious about their lighting. The next positive about this light is the output. At 44,500 um, lux, at 3.3 meters, this light is bright. I'm not no super scientific cinematographer. I just go off a of feel. And what I can say in terms of like my more lower budget talking heads or like corporate interviews, this light is pl plenty bright. Um, currently, that's what I'm using to light the scene right now. And this, I believe, it's currently at 80%. But you can see how bright and just how powerful this light is in terms of output. Third aspect of this light that I truly appreciate and I commend GVM on is the build quality. Now in the past, if you've bought any GVM lights, you know one of the things that they struggled with or skimped on was the build quality of some of their products, especially their lighting um, products. Some of them felt plasticky and just cheap, but um, with this 300 pro series you know the 300 the 450 and the 650 and so on and so forth i think gvm finally listened to their customer base and made this with a aluminum um like metal and framing so it does feel quality it does feel premium and it does feel like it could take a beating another aspect of this light that i truly appreciate and i commend gvm on is how quiet the fans are as you know, in a professional video setting, audio is very important. And there's nothing worse than having an audio that's messed up because of how loud your lights fans are. I definitely commend GVM on making this fan as quiet as they can. There's three modes in terms of um, how operational this fan is. You have your smart mode, you have your high mode, and you have your quiet mode. And all three modes, I think, depending on use case, work phenomenal. And finally, the last thing about this light that I truly appreciate and is a personal favorite of mine is just how long the power cables are. Man, you, I'm telling y'all, that to me is such an underrated pro um, in terms of like this light that I think gets slept on. Like, you have no idea how clutch it is to have a power cord that is long enough to reach an outlet that might not be relatively close. So, for example, this spot that I'm shooting in, the closest outlet is in the kitchen. Because this cord, this power cord is long enough, I'm able to plug it into the outlet in the kitchen and still have enough slack. So, for me... That is a win in my book in terms of, you know, just the course of GVM. Shout out to y'all for doing that and other lights. Take note. Let's move on to some of the negatives or some things that really causes me to be hesitant about really giving this light um, a true pro tag. And the first one, which I don't understand why GVM did this, is for the 300B itself there is no ballast and i guess maybe that's why this light is cheap but it makes no sense because i know gvm is counting on the app but there are certain situations where i'm in a location with bad wi-fi or no internet 
to where I can't even use the app, having a ballast is such a convenient and just easy way for somebody to just, you know, manipulate their lighting, manipulate their ratios, change color temperature, and so on and so forth. The next part of this light that really causes me to be hesitant to give it the pro status is the color accuracy. Now, I'm not your most technical cinematographer in terms of measuring stuff on a technical basis, but what I do know and what I am confident in is the eye test. And from being able to work with other higher end um, professional lights from Aperture and like Nine Light, and just in general, I can kind of tell the difference. All right, now that I've covered some of the things that I liked about this light and some things that I wish they could improve on, the real question is, would I recommend this? The answer is, it depends. If you are a beginner, if you are someone that is wanting to start your lighting kit or take lighting seriously, and you want a bi-colored light to start your journey, I think this light is a great bargain and a great fit for you. Because when you think of the positives like the light output, the price, the build quality, um, those definitely helps to really propel the bargain value of this, especially if you're starting off. That being said, if you are a seasoned pro or just like a intermediate professional that has been working on bigger sets or like if you're a gaffer that has been working on larger commercial sets, I don't think this light really does fit that professional tag. That's it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this and I hope this light, um, this whole video did bring some value to you. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe, comment, um, tell me what you think about this video. Um, I will be doing a review on the 650 watt Pro Lite. Um, I'm excited for that, but yeah, we got some more consistent content coming out for y'all. I know, but this year my goal is to be more consistent because I've had a lot of people ask me how I do a lot of my cinematography breakdown. But without further ado, y'all stay blessed, y'all stay safe. Peace.